Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about coenzyme Q10, so CoQ10, what it is and how it works. So coenzyme Q10 stands for coenzyme quinone, and it has 10 units in its subtail. And this is important for any tissue in our body that utilizes a lot of energy. So it is produced by our liver, and it's needed for the transfer of electrons into our mitochondria cells to help to make energy or ATP. So it is found in some foods. So oily fish has some CoQ10 as well as organ meat. So liver. So if you're one to eat liver, you may get a little bit of CoQ10 in there, but again, in very small amounts. And it's something that our cells need in order to produce that ATP. So when we think of our tissues in the body, the ones that have the most CoQ10 and utilize the most CoQ10 include the heart muscle, our liver, our kidneys and our actual skeletal muscles. So a lot of people that work out a lot, they may have more of a need of the coenzyme Q10. And people who train a lot with weight training, they find that by taking coenzyme Q10 as a supplement, it really does help their workout routines and their muscle mass. Now, another thing that CoQ10 does is it helps to tighten the basement membranes of our cells. And that's really important for overall cellular health. It also helps with the metabolism of our carbs, our fats and our proteins, so our macronutrients, which is important. It also helps to shuttle the glucose and fats into the mitochondria to be turned into energy. Now, the unfortunate thing about coenzyme Q10 is that as we're aging, our production of coenzyme Q10 dramatically drops off. And when we take a look at this chart, we can see that age 20, you know, when we're feeling young and vibrant, everything is really great and we're good and healthy. But as time goes on, we can see that rapid reduction reduction of that coenzyme Q10, especially in some of the most vital tissues that require that coenzyme Q10 on a daily basis. Now, what's another interesting fact is that a man's liver can actually make and is much better at making coenzyme Q10 as he ages. But women, unfortunately, are very much at risk for cardiovascular disease because of this lack of the liver's ability in a woman to actually produce enough coenzyme Q10. So this is really important for all the women that are watching to make sure that you're getting enough CoQ10 daily. So another thing that I really want you to pay attention to is that if you are taking a statin drug, so these are typically to lower cholesterol levels, and that is a whole discussion in itself. But if you are on a statin drug, what this will do will rapidly decrease your coenzyme Q10. So this is really important for anybody who's not yet you know, supplementing and making sure that they're getting enough coenzyme Q10 every day, that they really stay on top of this, especially if you're taking a cholesterol lowering drug. Now, some other interesting facts about coenzyme Q10 is that it actually helps to decrease leptin levels. So you know that I talk a lot about leptin and the correlation with overall health. In this study, we can see that the coenzyme Q10 supplementation had different effects on adiponectin, leptin levels, and this was especially important in women with type 2 diabetes. So we know that, yes, that correlation, again, with leptin and blood glucose levels definitely goes hand in hand. In another study, and all of the ladies, but the guys too, you may you know want to know this information in terms of beauty, the beauty benefits of coenzyme Q10. And in this study showed that helped with the skin wrinkles and skin hydration. So the again, the dietary intake of CoQ10 on the skin parameters was measured and they found not only skin hydration, but also the wrinkle depth and the prevalence of wrinkles was reduced in those who were taking the coenzyme Q10. Now some other benefits that have been researched were a decrease in blood pressure, as well as an increase in antioxidant status, and also the decrease in the tri triglycerides and the LDL cholesterol. And in this study for 24 weeks, the improvement of the lipid and glycemic profile was found in those taking the coenzyme Q10. So this is really important for cardiovascular risk factors, as well as balancing out, again, it's not just about that bad cholesterol, it's about balancing out and having the right profile in your lipids in terms of triglycerides 
triglycerides and your LDL cholesterol. Now, studies have also shown that coenzyme Q10 helps to improve the endothelial dysfunction of the conduit arteries of the peripheral circulation and helps to increase nitric oxide. Now, this is something that I will discuss in detail in future videos about the benefits of nitric oxide and why and how we can make this better for our own health. Now, I did interview sort of the forefather and the main expert on coenzyme Q10, Dr. Steven Sinatra. So you can check out that video in which I interview him about health and health in general. But we did talk about coenzyme Q10 and I did ask him, you know, and he shared with me, you know, if there was one supplement that, you know, he would want to have on that desert island if he was trapped, it was definitely be coenzyme Q10. So he authored the book, The Coenzyme Q10 Phenomenon. So that is something that you could definitely check out as well. But all the benefits are very very well researched in terms of taking coenzyme Q10. What you want to do when you start taking a high quality coenzyme Q10 is to make sure that you eat it with something that is a healthy fat. So that whether this is your fish oil, your fish oil supplement, or it could be avocado, some of coconut oil, some of the healthy fats that I talk about in other videos. This will dramatically help the absorption of that coenzyme Q10. We'll share links below to a great way to supplement your CoQ10. So I hope that you learned something new. Thank you so much for all of your comments and your questions. So please do leave them below if you've got questions about anti-aging, longevity. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you're taking coenzyme Q10 and you would like me to give my thoughts on that, then definitely put that in the comments below. Also be sure to share this video and also give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you subscribe and you turn on those notifications by clicking the, that bell so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.